You're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. Uh, according to my first guest, he says nobody should be wearing a loose-fitting denture. With us, we have an expert on the topic. He is a board-certified oral and maxillofacial surgeon, Dr. Picos. Dr. Picos, welcome to the program. Thank you. It's great to be here, Randy. Now, we've tried to get you on the show for over a year, so I want to thank you for coming on the show. And people pleasure. need to know, I'm not on your side here, uh, but you're also known by everybody. That means every dentist that I talk to, an oral surgeon, and periodontist, they, they all know you. I mean, you're known all over the world. And, and so today we're talking about dental implants. And, and I want people to know that this is what you teach other dentists, other oral surgeons, periodontists how to do. This whole same day teeth concept. Is that right? That's correct. Yes. And so you have an institute. Tell us a little bit about your center. I, I, I guess you have a patient practice and then you also have a training center. Uh, I do. In fact, um, I'm very fortunate to be both a clinician and an educator uh, at the same time, so to speak. I've been in practice uh, for 32 years now, and um, my patient base uh, really is not real typical because I see a full spectrum of individuals uh, from uh, individuals that are missing one tooth to all their teeth. And they come to us for, for help, certainly. And we're able to um, basically give them uh, a, a very uh, great result in terms of, of tooth replacement. And um, so clinically, I, I have a private practice that's been just terrific. But on the other side, for 25 years, uh, I have an institute. And I've been able to train now more than 3,000 clinicians from all 50 states and 32 countries. About dental implants, that's about your topic. Specifically implants and related grafting procedures. And these include oral surgeons, periodontists, restorative dentists, and others. And uh, it's been really a, a pleasure to interface with these people because indirectly, I have a sense of gratitude because I'm helping them to help their own patients as well. Good, good. So does it cost more? Because we're talking about dental implants. Does it? Because I know insurance doesn't cover it, Medicare doesn't cover it, but does it cost more to go to a guy like you that teaches everybody how to do this? Or is it about the same price wherever you go? You know, you would think uh, maybe uh, logically that that would be the case, but it's not. Uh, if so anything, does it cost more to go to you? No, no, it really doesn't. Our technology is so incredible now that we're able to perform procedures faster. In fact, in one day, as you mentioned, uh, same day, we, in fact, our, our term, our phrase is same day teeth that uh, we have trademarked. You trademarked that, uh, yes. that phrase. Yes, we did. And is that true though? I mean, somebody can literally go in with no teeth and walk out with a fixed set of teeth that don't come in and out, a ab full arch. Absolutely, absolutely. You we, see that happen once a we month? We do it all the time, every day in our practice. Really? Every day, and I've been doing it for years now. It's a very incredible technology. And it really plays on uh, a number of facets that we're able to utilize um, within the practice that allows us to give our patients a very predictable result. And we transform lives, literally. Really? Now, are, are there a lot of people with dentures uh, where you are? Oh, yes. In fact, uh, <laughs> quite honestly, I think we could probably fill Raymond James Stadium and Tropicana uh, Fieldhouse uh, maybe multiple times, eight, ten times over with individuals that are missing three, four, five teeth or all of their teeth. In fact, more than 40 million individuals are running around this country in the States missing teeth in one or both jaws. So if there's that many people wearing a denture, right, or headed for dentures, why aren't they all coming in to do dental implants? You know, the way I see it, having practiced now 32 years, I get to see uh, a lot of different individuals and there's a common thread. Uh, in fact, there's Four or five reasons, I, th I would say, that individuals really stay away from people like me. Um, first things first, um, these individuals don't uh, go to a dentist. I mean, once We're talking about denture wares. Denture wares, okay. yes. I mean, once a, a set of dentures are made, I think the mindset changes in such a way that because of their previous history, especially when they had teeth and problems, that now they, they stay away from people like me. And, and it's unfortunate because we can help them. So they don't even know their options, they're, they're ignorant. And I don't mean that in a disrespectful manner at all. It's just that they, they just don't, don't go to the dentist. They don't go to the dentist, so they don't know what we can do for them. Another deterrent is basically uh, fear. And okay. what's fear? Fear is of the unknown. And pain is one in particular. It does seem painful. Sure, and, and, and logically you would think that, but basically it's not. In fact, we are able to make our patients so comfortable with intravenous sedation techniques and other anesthetic means to allow our 
patients to be very comfortable. In fact, they don't really remember anything. When we're done, they look around like, what happened? Look in the mirror, we give them a mirror, <laughs> and it's like, oh my God. So yeah, that fear factor is removed from the equation, sure. Money could be another issue, another deterrent. And unfortunately, most folks think that for every tooth that's missing, we have to place an implant, and that's really not true at all. In fact, it's, it's incredible with our technology. Four implants, Randy, believe it or not, four implants in either jaw can hold 12 teeth permanently. Permanently. It's, it's an amazing technology that we now can utilize in such a way that we literally can take a patient who's got bad teeth and in one day, or no teeth, wearing dentures for 25, 30 years, mm -hmm. and at that same appointment when we're done, they look in the mirror and there's a new set of teeth that are permanent. So money's an issue. And also it's amazing, but folks seem to have their own diagnosis before they even want to come see us. And by that I mean, interestingly enough, um, age. You know, a number of people think, well, gosh, I'm too old. I'm 55, I'm 65, I'm 80, I'm 90. Pick a number. What's your oldest patient that got dental implants? My oldest patient was 101 and she actually lied about her age, poor thing. <laughs> little 90 pound female from uh, Chicago, retired policewoman. And uh, we thought she was 91 and we thought that was quite old. Well, long story short, we did the procedure, just placed two little implants, two anchors, so her teeth could snap in for the first time in forever. She can eat and chew food because that was her big yeah. concern. I can't chew my food. I can't bite lettuce. I can't chew on anything, et cetera. Well, don't you know when she came back in for the final appointment, um, her caregiver, as I mentioned her age, was behind me saying like, like don't talk. And I didn't understand until she left to get some x-rays. And I said, did I say something wrong? And the lady said, no, 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 she's really 101. Wow. She lied about her age. And I thought that was so funny. She lived four more years, great quality of life improvement. Are happy. they more likely to fall out though if you're older? The, uh, the, the implants. No, So, so no, it doesn't matter how old no, you are. No, it really doesn't. It's amazing. One would think that the older we are, the less uh, ability to have implants and, la and, and have them last long, but not at all. In fact, on the contrary, our success rates are equal in a 30-year-old versus an 80 or 90-year-old individual. Okay, but isn't it true, though, that if you've been wearing dentures like 30 years, that you don't have enough bone, that, that it can't be done? Not true at all. In fact, well, let me qualify that. We have folks, I see individuals, that have come for second opinions, and at the other particular office or offices where they were at, they were told they didn't have enough bone for implants. And you know, that may be true at that office, but not with us, because we have the wherewithal to uh, work with virtually anybody that comes to us for implants. So you, look, you've done, I guess, thousands and thousands and thousands of implants, right? That's yes. not an exaggeration. Yes. Have you ever had to turn someone away and say, you don't have enough bone, we can't work with you? No. 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 And you say people's lives are transformed. Yes, they are. In fact, uh, it's an amazing thing that happens. Uh, and I say thing, it's, it's, it's all about self-image. Because what we've seen, what I've seen over all my years of practice, even with a single tooth replacement, let alone full arch, an entire jaw or two jaws, in particular, these people, uh, I see such a, an instant transformation. In fact, when we give them the mirror, when we give them the mirror to look at right after we're done on that same day, same day uh, teeth again, they look in the mirror and become emotional. In fact, some will cry. Some will just say, oh my God, I can't believe what I'm seeing. And, and, and they really, something kind of clicks because they, I think in their mind, they're realizing that this is truly the first day of the rest of their life with a new me. Wow. A new me. And it's so emotional for them and for us. I mean, I, every patient is different. Everyone has a story. But every once in a while you choke up too with them? Absolutely. For your assistance? Absolutely. It's, it's a, it, it's, Interesting. It's the climax of the procedure. It just, we can't wait for, for that. We can't wait to, who's going to give the mirror first and, and let them look and, and then see what, what the response is. And, and person to person, you just see that, and it's certainly a non-entity, non-physical thing, that self-image, but you see it. And now these folks are transformed in such a way that, my goodness, it, it's an amazing thing because from that point forward, they act differently. They do different things. In fact, Maxwell Maltz, whom I, I love to read among many motivational individuals 
uh, written some great books over the years. This is a plastic surgeon, believe it or not, that got involved in the psychology of patients. And he realized right after World War II when he practiced that in his practice, he saw differences in individuals by just taking a scar away from the face um, or maybe a bump from the nose, et cetera, and realized that two things occur with this self-image. Number one, amazing, is that individuals will act within the realm of how they see themselves, meaning your self-image kind of handcuffs you. So your behavior, your actions, Interesting. everything is, is you're handcuffed. Now, but the good news is part two of that that he found out quickly was that no one is stuck with a self-image. It can be changed. And guess what we do? We change people's self-image. Well, the smile is right there in the middle of your face. Absolutely. There's no doubt about it. Absolutely. And uh, because I'm I mean, not, look, I looked at some of your photos uh, online and because and, I was skeptical because you say it really changes their appearance, changes how they feel. But it, it, it really does change their appearance. So let's let's go to, I, oh, I guess does. we have time for some of the photos. Let's sure, take a look. sure. Let's, uh, let's start with, uh, with Lucy. Well, take a good look at Lucy because at the time she was 71 years old uh, from Holland, grew up during World War II. Um, in fact, uh, shared the story with us that her parents did not have a lot of money. In fact, her mom was left by herself, and uh, therefore they couldn't get a lot of good food, good nutrition, and her teeth were compromised as a result. And they hurt her, and she started losing some one by one. And um, the long and short of it is it affected her, her self-image, absolutely. She was kind of depressed and uh, just not happy about life in general until she found out about me and my goodness uh, to see her transformation. I mean, if you take a good look at what she looks like before, yeah, and then as soon as we were done with both jaws, yeah, I mean, wow. we put the mirror up and you can see the asymmetry, the 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 change in that she had like a tilt to her teeth. They didn't look so good, etc. And now the transformation, though, in that same day, it's just remarkable. And she just looked in the mirror and broke down and cried and realized for the first time that, my goodness, I don't have to be what I used to be anymore. In fact, I'm not. You, you could just read her mind, and that's exactly what, what happened. What could she eat? She now. now can eat basically the foods that she so desired to eat before that were problematic with her sore teeth. Uh, she could bite now into lettuce and uh, into peanut brittle. She could what eat- What about a carrot, basically. like with your front teeth? Yeah, could she you? could snap those out with no- Really? She can eat an apple. No front teeth they could front, bite? Front teeth, yes. Yes, the anchorage is so incredible. Do they tell you food eating stories? Oh, they do. They sure do. My goodness. I mean, we can be here for all day talking about that. Absolutely. So let me show you uh, a, still another patient of ours. As you see here, this individual uh, had no teeth. You can see the top and lower jaws. Uh, in fact, he wore dentures, but I say that he didn't really wear them. In fact, he didn't wear them for 10 years. He gummed it. it was a number of our patients actually do so that. So there's a lot of people wearing dentures and they don't wear their dentures? Absolutely, they don't wear them. Like when they're at home or around yes. other people? Okay. Yes, they don't wear them. And, and Ed was just an amazing individual because I saw such an incredible transformation with him because he was depressed. He didn't want to go out. His wife was after him for, they retired in Florida from New York and, you know, can't get my husband to go out. Uh, it's a bummer. I'm, I'm upset. You know, what's his retirement like? The golden years, et cetera. Well, guess what? In one appointment, and we were able to transform him so incredibly with a flapless approach, meaning we didn't even have to cut into his gum tissues. We were done in less than two and a half hours in both jaws. So Ed woke up to permanent teeth completely mesmerized, like, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? I didn't wear dentures for so long, and now I've got these teeth that don't come out. So guess what? He ate immediately. Pizza. Like he, that day? He did, and he's not supposed to. Basically, we try to have our patients on a softer diet for a few months, but unbeknownst to me till much later, he was eating his pizza, and it got, he gets better because now Ed is so extroverted again. He's back to his same self because, let's face it, when something's wrong, you know, we, we get handcuffed again. We, you know, we, we have choices. We can make a difference if it's possible. And sure, with Ed, it was possible, absolutely. We took him from no teeth to permanent teeth. What an incredible change. Andrew, okay, we're gonna take a quick break. 
And when we come back, uh, I know you brought more photos, more about the dental implant process. So if you're about to lose your teeth or if you have dentures, what they can expect on day one when they go to your office. You're watching the Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. We'll be right back. And I think it's the best thing I've ever done. I could eat anything, you know, I could talk, but I'll, you know, my teeth slipping or sliding. And I think it helped me in health-wise, too. You know, I don't even consider them uh, dentures, you know. They feel that good. And now I feel I'm 93, I don't feel so old. <laughs> Once Dr. Pico said, well, no, we can put the implants in and put the teeth in and you leave with teeth, that was it. That was the selling point, that uh, he didn't have to spend two or three months with no teeth waiting for the implants. Yeah, the one-day deal was pretty good. You go no. in, and you go in with no teeth whatsoever, and you come out like this. And you're healthy now, you eat vegetables, and it's changed our lives. It's made retirement what I expected retirement to be. I didn't expect it to be in the house, watching TV, not doing anything. Now we play tennis, we play golf, we have a real retirement now. I feel like I look younger than I used to. I definitely am happy when I see my teeth. I know I smile. <laughs> You're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. And according to my first guest, no more dentures. Okay, so you don't like dentures, by the way. Definitely not. Like at all? Not at all. I think it's it's really a sin for anyone to wear a denture in this day So and those age. days are over. And for people just tuning in, okay, so oral surgeon, you teach dentists from all over the country, all over the world. Yes. Is that right? They yes. fly in, you teach them the same day teeth yes. concept, right? Yes. And uh, it doesn't cost more, you said, to go to somebody like you, right? Correct. And uh, so it makes sense to go to somebody, I'm not trying to endorse you, but it, you know, people always say, you know, they try to get referrals. They go to thewellnesshour.com. We say, look for somebody that is a specialist or somebody that this is all they do. So this is, in your case, this is all you do. Exactly, exactly. And it, it's, it's, it's a great service that we can do for our patients because once again, we are changing lives. And that's the most exciting part for us because we have the technology and the wherewithal to allow patients to go from either dentures or bad teeth to a whole, we call it a third set of teeth. Let's face it, we have baby teeth, we have permanent <laughs> teeth, and now we can give them what? Another set of teeth. A third set of teeth. A third set, yes. Now, do they come back in and they're, they're getting cleanings? and? Absolutely, absolutely. They're, they're on a, usually a, a six month maintenance uh, program follow up um, ongoing. But in essence, the, the implant part of what we do is forever. It's forever. The teeth, they're like tires on a car. They're going to wear. They may have to be replaced every 10, 12, 15 years. But what a difference from where they started to where they ended up. Okay, now we should mention this. Uh, so, and the way I understand it, how it's typically done, the doctor opens up the gum area, looks for bone, maybe, right? They have imaging, of course. But the way you do it, everything's done like in a, guided. In advance, right? In advance. Yeah, so the day of surgery, we're, it's boom, boom, boom. It's, it's very... Like you just pop in the implants through yeah, we, we, like a guide? Yeah, we've actually done the surgery in advance, more All or less. Right. And now we're doing it in such a stepwise fashion that it's less time, uh, less discomfort for our patients, et cetera. Yeah. So you teach that, that the, the guided? Yes. The same day guided? Yes, this okay. guided surgery approach is very unique because basically most everybody else that is involved with this technology or this type of technology, meaning taking folks who have dentures or bad teeth and giving them permanent teeth on the same day, they're in essence getting a denture that's converted over to a permanent bridge. So it's plastic. And what does that mean, Randy? It means basically there's gonna be maintenance issues. Teeth can break off. So you don't do that? No, we don't. In fact, the difference, the main difference is our approach is all virtual, meaning we use software to literally go through everything, all the diagnostic elements, everything, even making the teeth in advance with a, a special lab so that the day of surgery, you're not getting a denture. Oh no, converted, absolutely So that's not. how it's normally done? No. They get a plastic it, yeah, denture? That's normally correct. The way right. we do it, you're getting something that's already made that's far superior in, in strength and material and in aesthetics, it looks better. And guess what, that's not your final set of teeth because four to five months later, we change that out for even a better set of teeth that look even better. So that's the protocol, same day teeth, 
very different. Yes, I teach that at my institute. Is it called the Dr. Picos method? Uh, no, no, it's not. They should call it that. Well, um, <laughs> perhaps, but I won't take all the credit. We use a, a, a lab that has a proprietary okay. right. uh, way of doing this uh, from Nevada. So let me just show you uh, another uh, example of, of what we can do. Take a look at this, gentlemen. You're not going to believe. Look at, look at how he looked before, mm -hmm. and you're just not going to believe the transformation physically, what his mouth, what his smile looks like. In fact, take a look and tell me if you can oh really goodness. believe what you're seeing. Completely different guy. Completely. Look at the lip relationship with his teeth. So this is a cosmetic, like a it cosmetic is. makeover. We, we focus on two main things, cosmetics or aesthetics and function. And they're so important. How they bite. They're so eat. important. How they eat, how they can chew food, how they can function and make sure that their teeth come together well. Most importantly, they can comfortably eat lettuce. They can eat pizza, peanut brittle, apples, corn on the cob, you name it. But also, very importantly, that they look great. Not good. They look great. So look at, look at his before, Randy, and, and just begin. If you can appreciate that, you know, bad breath, uh, teeth broken down, it, this, he didn't want to smile at all. In fact, he didn't. We had to force him to smile for that, that preoperative picture. So all these things going on, it's typical for a guy to kind of put things off. We procrastinate by nature, it seems. And in fact, once we did his work, my goodness, he looked at, in the mirror and his first words out of his mouth, why didn't I do this 10 years before? I wasted 10 years of my life. I mean, look, you know, as I'm looking at this, right? I, I, and anybody at home could see this. He looks more credible in the after. He looks more sophisticated. In fact, he looks more handsome. Nobody could disagree with that. No, absolutely. And it's just teeth, as I said at the beginning, you know? Sure, it's the smile. I All mean, right. let's face it, that smile makes such a difference. 95% of our body is clothed. We're just seeing a head, and we all focus on the mouth. And would you hire the individual on the left or on the right if, if he comes to you for a job? Well, if all things were equal, yeah. I mean, the guy that looks happy and positive and energetic and healthy absolutely has an advantage. Absolutely. Interesting. Yes. So, so for the denture wear, though, when they go into your practice, what are their options? And we have a couple of minutes left. Sure. Well, typically we have several options. Uh, one is placing as few as two implants that act as anchors and the teeth can snap in and snap out. Or we can go to four implants and those four implants, um, you know, basically they could be for still a removable denture that's anchored in place, uh, snaps in place. But better than that, what we prefer to do in our practice is a set of teeth that are screwed in that don't come out. That's our same so day So a full arch of teeth, four implants. Yes, four teeth, or four implants rather, can hold 12 teeth. The real benefit of having same day teeth in the top jaw is there's no roof of the mouth. It's a horseshoe and it's permanent. So imagine no coverage of the palate. So you can taste food better. You can distinct, distinguish between hot and cold. Um, there's no gagging. Uh, you feel better and it feels just like your own teeth. And because you do sedation, so the patient goes in, uh, you give them sedation, they wake up, and they don't remember the procedure. Is that right? That's correct. Oftentimes? That's correct. They're very comfortable. In fact, we make a big point of, of explaining that during our initial visit with our patient. Very comfortable. They remember little or nothing of the procedure. And when we're done, Again, it's, it's an incredible experience to look in that mirror and think, <laughs> wow, I'm a different person. Because the reality is they are in their own mind. They are, and that makes all the difference. Randy, do I have a time for just a few yes. more photos? two more. Perfect, perfect. Let me just show you uh, Ted here. What a neat fellow. He was 76 years old when we first saw him. World War II veteran. He's now 96. And what you see in his photo there is the picture at that age, 96 years of age, what an incredible change What'd you he do went for through. Him? We basically, he came in with dentures and we gave him permanent teeth 20 years ago, a little different type than we do today, but with the same concept where basically the teeth were placed the same day of the surgery. Now they are removable, a little bit different than what we do today, yes, but the fact that teeth aren't moving around for him, what a difference it made. And I didn't know this till this last visit which was just a few months ago, when he wouldn't let me leave the room. He says, Doc, just a minute. I said, sure, what is it, Mr. Petransky? He goes, I need to tell you something. You made such a difference in my life 20 years ago, and I never shared it with you, but I gotta tell you now. 
you changed my life. I was depressed. I felt so bad about myself. My wife wondered what was wrong with me. And when I got the new teeth, it changed things. And I'm embarrassed that I never told you about That's that. That's great. And I got emotional with him. It was just an incredible experience 20 years later. So those are the things that we love to see with our same day teeth concept. Of course, today, they're permanent teeth. They don't come out. And this patient, Randy, uh, pretty remarkable. Mid 50s, uh, this young lady, she had some teeth, uh, unfortunately, knocked out in an accident. And again, was told that she would wear a removable denture. She was horrified over the thought. She came to us, and as you can see with her after photo, what a big change for her, my goodness. I mean, she, we, she just went on, and we couldn't keep her mouth closed about her happiness and her joy with her final teeth. Permanent, again, top and, bo and bottom jaw. And, and this young lady, um, late 50s, Board of Education, and so concerned, so self-conscious about her teeth, you can see that she's got spaces between so her teeth. So those teeth had to be removed? Yes, they were periodontally involved. They were, some were loose, a lot of bone loss, gums were swollen, bleeding, and she was told dentures. That was it. And uh, of course, as you can see, Heard the about Dr. end Picos. result. Sure, we were able to use our same day teeth protocol. And in that day, we were able to work on both upper and lower jaws at the same time. So she has permanent teeth, top and bottom, what a difference it's made for her. Completely changed her life. She lost 15 pounds. She feels so much better about herself. And now she can be in the public's eye with confidence. Good, good. Now, we are out of time. And, and okay. people, you know, we get emails. Insurance doesn't cover this. Medicare doesn't cover it. I guess if you have good credit, you have financing available. Is that right? Yes. You'll work, you'll work with people yep. there? Yes. I, you know, I want to thank you for coming on the show. And, uh, and, and like you said, that you're an oral surgeon. You teach dentists from all over the country, oral surgeons, how to do this same day thing. It doesn't cost more to go to somebody like you. Correct. For a free consultation by any chance? Yes, yes. And you do the imaging all right there? Yes. So everything's kind of under one roof. Correct. We are out of time, but final message to a person, either their teeth have to be removed or they're already wearing a denture, but they're still skeptical or afraid or whatever. What do you say to them? Come see us because we've, we're very confident that we can give you a completely different mouth, a different smile. We can give you permanent teeth in one visit, and we can transform your life, change your self-image, make you feel better about yourself. Why not? All right. I want to thank you for coming on the show. Great thank stuff. Thank you, Randy. Great stuff. Thank you. You've been watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.